I'm James. In this video, I'm going to show you how to process a black and white big stopper image and also how to use lens correction in Adobe Camera Raw to fix any kind of lens distortion that you might get, but also perspective distortion. Because as you can see here, this shot was taken with a wide angle lens and it was aiming upwards slightly. So we've got these converging verticals here and we can just get that all squared off so the image is really nicely balanced. So the first thing that we need to do before we actually convert the image to mono is get the white balance looking just about right because when you're converting from color to black and white you're obviously converting color into black and white and if the colors aren't roughly where they should be things aren't going to look quite right. So with white balance you simply drag the slider in the opposite direction of the color that you would like to remove. So here I can see this shot is a bit too yellow so I'm just going to drag the temperature slider over to the left so there that was taking it too far and for me that's roughly there so now I can see that there's a bit too much pink in there we're never going to get rid of all this pink in the sky that's a result of the different filters that were being used so let's just pull the tint slider down and there the white balance isn't perfect but it's not too far off so we can go with that and the next thing we need to do is go to the black and white tab and then all we're going to do here is click on convert to grayscale and now we've got a really nice black and white image but it's just a bit too dull so we're going to boost up the contrast by clicking back on the basic tab there and the first thing I'm going to do here is just type in 50 for the contrast and that just gives me an idea of what the base contrast level is going to be and then how much I might need to increase exposure for and for this shot here, it's really quite well exposed. So I'm just going to take it up a little bit more just to make it a tiny bit brighter. And what I'm also going to do now is just boost the contrast a bit more. So what I'm going to do is increase the whites. And this is going to make the whites whiter or brighter. And I'm going to do the same with the blacks. I'm going to make those darker so that's another way of increasing the contrast so let's just pull that down to 40 and that's looking really good but i can see that there's a bit of burnout up here in the sky so i'm just going to decrease the highlights just to pull back a little bit of that detail and i don't, I don't want to go too far because if you drag it all the way over to the left you'll see there it kind of dulls the image off so we'll just bring that down a tiny amount about 30 should do the job and the reason for this is that we're going to be working locally on the sky a bit later on so we don't need to worry about that now and for this section the last thing that i'm going to do is just increase the clarity which is basically increasing mid-tone contrast and make all the detail pop out so let's take that up to 30 and because we've got a lot of texture here that's just really going to help emphasize that as well so at this point the shots are looking really good the contrast levels are really starting to make it come to life but I would still like to add a bit more contrast. And of course you could add contrast in just one way. So I'm doing it incrementally like this. So I can just take full control. So what I'm gonna do now is just take this tone curve and create an S curve, which is going to give me a bit more contrast. So there you'll see things have really darkened off. So that's just lightening the lighter tones and darkening the dark tones down there. And next up, what we need to do is actually apply the lens correction. So now we're going to give the shot the balance that it needs. So this is the lens correction tab over here. And I'm just going to click on profile to get started. And I'm going to click on enable lens profile corrections because that's going to remove any lens distortion that is programmed into Lightroom according to the lens that I actually use. So there you'll see we're losing the vignette and it's just straightening things off a tiny amount. And now I'm going to click onto the manual tab and we're going to take a bit more manual control over what's happening here. So I can still see that there's a tiny amount of barrel distortion. Let's just turn the grid on there. So we'll click on there and there you'll see the roof is kind of bulging out a tiny amount. So what I'm going to do now is just drag this slider over to the right ever so slightly. I don't want to pull it over too far. I'm going to stick with plus four there and that's just going to suck the image in you'll see there that it's kind of pulled that in and then the next control 
is actually the most important for this shot. This is fixing the vertical distortion. So what I'm going to do is drag the slider over to the left because it's going to pull the bottom in. So that's going to go backwards and it's going to pull the front out towards us. So let's just drag that over to the left and you'll see there as I keep moving the slider over, it's straightening things up and somewhere around about there I think we might be able to go a little bit further let's go for 40 there you'll see using that guide you've got a fairly straight line it's not absolutely perfect but I'm not going to worry about that because we have improved it a tremendous amount okay so next up let's have a look at the horizontal and with this I'm just going to make the left side come towards us a tiny amount so I'm just going to take it up very carefully and there we go there you'll see things have started to straighten up a little bit there a bit more and then moving down i'm just going to rotate the image by a very very small amount you'll see here if we look at that corner there and that corner there there's a bit of a difference in the gap so let's just drag that over to the left to rotate it anti-clockwise and that's looking good that's looking nice and even now there does appear to be a slight bulge here in the roof, but I think that's actually part of the structure itself. It, it's not lens distortion, so I'm not going to worry about that now. And then the final adjustment I'm going to make here is just remove a bit more of that vignette, just to get a cleaner image across the bottom corners here and the top corners up here. And to either apply or remove a vignette, you drag the slider over to the left to darken so you'll see there if I drag it over there it darkens it off or to the right it will lighten it so we just need to drag it over until it's pretty much removed so let's just keep that going a bit more and then what I'm going to do is just change the midpoint so here that's obviously making it larger and then over to the left makes it smaller so I'm going to go for an amount of about 40 again and then that is the lens correction finished and it, and it really does make quite a difference so the thing that we need to do now I'll just remove that grid because we don't need it anymore is crop the image so I'm gonna just press caps lock and that gives me a slightly more precise cursor and now I'm holding down the spacebar just to get the crop box exactly where I want it to be so there we go let's get as much of that sky as possible and then take it over to the right and then once you've got that in place just hit enter and there's the crop okay so we have one more step here and that is to create a graduated filter so let's just set all of these to zero and we'll just check all of those okay so I'm going to start about here and then just drag down to roughly about there so what we need to do here is just reduce the exposure I just want to darken things off so let's go for about half a stop and we'll just increase the contrast a tiny amount so let's go somewhere around there and with the highlights I'm going to drag those over all the way to the left and there you'll see we start to pull back lots of that lovely sky detail there and just to make the sky really pop I'm just going to drag the clarity slider over and that's just going to give us that mid-tone contrast and just get some definition between these lighter and darker areas so that's all done let's just click on the hand tool and then if I just hold down alt and then we'll click on reset so there's our original image and then just by processing it really carefully to get a really nice contrasty black and white and then adding some lens correction to remove the perspective distortion we've ended up with a really nice big stopper shot so that is how to process a black and white big stopper shot and apply lens correction to fix any problems with distortion in your shots. Mm -hmm.